He had a very calm energy about him when we spoke to him today. He seemed very confident and he did try to be vague when we asked him direct questions about whether he will eventually run for president. But today he did explain where the motivation is coming from. First, he wants to change the tone of our nation's leadership. Today he said our current leaders lack integrity and inclusion. During his conversation with reporters and in his Twitter video posted today, he consistently mentions equality and opportunity. If somebody asked me today, well, you know, you're not the front runner. You're not near the top of the list right now. If you grew up like I did on the west side of San Antonio, go to that neighborhood. I didn't grow up the front runner. I can't think of a time in my life where I started out as a front runner in life. There are a lot of people today in America that don't feel like front runners, and I'm going to go speak to them. He said he knows there will be a very crowded and talented field of Democratic candidates running against Trump in 2020, but he believes that's a good sign for the country. So from now until January 12th, Julian Castro will be traveling all over the United States talking to the public. He said he doesn't have his stop set in stone yet, but he does have quite a few invitations. But on January 12th, he'll be back here at home in Texas to announce whether he officially will or will not run for president of the United States in 2020. From downtown, I'm Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.